95, now it's ready to world uh, company on board, no passengers. I have no traffic on the Hudson Raider service terminated. Squawk B, a far frequency change approved. You guys ready? We're ready. Let's go. What's up? Happy Sunday. We are live here over top of Coney Island in New York. So Coney Island is a residential and commercial entertainment area here in the borough of Brooklyn. Coney Island actually was formerly an island. It was separated by Greater Brooklyn by what was known as Coney Island Creek. In the early 20th century, it was connected to the rest of Long Island later by a landfill. So let's start with the early days. So back in the mid-19th century, it was built up by luxury seaside resorts and amusement parks. Just like one of the amusement parks that you guys can see right below. But we'll get more into that shortly. The reason that this location was so great for an amusement park and for a resort was due to the fact that this was close to Manhattan and the resorts never really panned out like the scale they were planned to be. So between 1880 and World War II, Coney Island was the largest amusement area in the U.S., attracting millions of clients each year. It was the park known as Luna Park down there, Dreamland, and Steeplechase Park. So in August of 1944, Luna Park was unfortunately damaged by a fire and was closed just two years later. Popularity that continued to decline. Various redevelopment projects were then proposed during 1970s and early 2000s, and a first new building for the New York Aquarium, which you can see right at the end of that, was built in 1955. By now, there had been four amusement park areas, which had five roller coasters and the famous Wonder Wheel. So another famous landmark is Nathan's Hot Dogs, right at the corner of Surf and Stillwell Avenue. So Nathan's Hot Dogs was opened in 1916, and it's truly amazing that it has survived for over 104 years. And a tradition that actually still lasts today is the famous Nathan Hot Dog Eating Contest. So what is exactly the Nathan's hot dog eating contest. Well, super simple. Four immigrants who were in this area were pledging who was the most patriotic and then it was said, well then why don't you see who can eat the most hot dog? This happened ironically on July 4th and that is a great time when you're talking about patriotism. Another fun fact as Nathan's is actually that Roosevelt himself brought the Queen of England and the King a hot dog right across the pond. He said it was a true American staple, and for that reason, he just had to bring them one. Do recommend that you check them out, as they later went on to opening restaurants around the country and now are available to supermarkets. So back to this amusement park right down here. So as we continue along this time in 1970s, they later refurbished the park. However, they did close a lot of structures, such as the parachute jump, which is that tall red building right there. It stands at 250 feet tall and had 12 steel arms that you could attach a parachute to a seat. So that building was actually built for the New York's World Fair at the Flushing Meadows Corona Park and was later moved to this location. Now that must be remarkable because at 250 feet tall, imagine moving that from all the way here in Queens to the complete other side of Brooklyn. Now despite people trying to move that building in the 1980s and 1990s, they kept it for quite an aesthetic because honestly, look at that. It is truly iconic and it is now officially a New York City landmark. Now on to one of my favorite things, the Cyclone. It was opened on June 26, 1927, and is the oldest functional roller coaster in the United States. Now, although it truly is safe today to still ride, people do often say it's scary, not because of its drops, but because the roller coaster shakes violently as you go around the track. Now, although Luna Park had originally burnt down, it was actually rebuilt and reopened in 2010. It features new steel coasters, amphitheaters, restaurants, and a revamped boardwalk, which you can see right down below. However, in 2012, Hurricane Sandy did cause major damage and it had to be shut down. It also caused damages to Coney Island's aquarium and various residential structures and other buildings. So what about Coney Island today, guys? Well, that brings us to a vast change that is happening as we can speak. Various residential structures, new plans, the new MCM Stadium, and so much more has been built and is still being built over this island. So new hotel plazas between 11th West and 17th are planned to expand. In addition to new amusements, there will also be new 2,000 residential units in this area. So Dino's Wonder Wheel and Luna Park actually compete for each other's business throughout the year. They are separately owned and operated and do not have any of the same 
prices or any of the same features, and for that reason, you have to pay two separate entrance fees for a park that's all connected by the same way. Now, although Coney Island may not be as glamorous as it once was, you can see that they are building it up, and it's certainly getting back there. Now, as we do think it is great to hang out from the sky at Coney Island, we do also think you should take the time after your flight or whenever you're hanging around to make it out to Coney Island. For now, though, we can't wait for the warm weather to bless us here at Coney Island so we can be hanging out on the beaches, getting some Nathan's hot dogs, taking a trip on the cyclone, and so much more. Thanks so much for tuning in with us today as we were live over top of Coney Island. It was so incredible hanging out with you in the comfort of your home. Don't forget, tomorrow we will be live at the Museum of Natural History at 12 p.m. Until then, guys, stay tuned, stay happy, and we'll see you in the skies. Oh, 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 oh,